Hi everyone and welcome to this evening's stream where I'm going to be painting some uh, space marines. I haven't painted any space marines for a long time uh, and certainly not uh, regular regular chapter type ones. So this evening I'm going to be painting these guys up as some black templars. Uh, unfortunately our delivery didn't arrive today but uh, it is coming tomorrow. I've spoken to the UPS driver. Oh, got a hydrate, a uh, wig me and a stretch. Hi everyone in chat. I can see uh, Tony, Moxie and Pete. Wig me. Got to do the wig. Let's do the stretch first. Uh, bite off the edge, yawn. <laughs> wig me. Wig me. What have we got? Oh. Beautiful, beautiful. Could it could it be any more glam rock? Whip, whip. Uh, a onesie and a wig. A onesie and a wig. That's right. Uh, uh, Tony says, "How diplomatic does it go, Nathan?" Yeah, unfortunately, aborted, aborted. They, uh, they didn't show up. They didn't show up. Some <laughs> uh, some transport issues allegedly. Transport issues. Apparently they're coming next week now instead. Oh screen. sorry, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Transport issues meant that they couldn't come apparently. So they're coming next week now instead. And uh, I've done my hair and got all ready. Wig on. Had my wig on. Was all ready for them, and then they didn't come. Boo. A bit like the green stuff world delivery. Yeah, a bit like the green stuff world delivery. But, but. No, oh, you keep saying this. We don't believe. No, no. Hot news. Hot news. So I've spoken to the UPS driver. In fact, I chased his van down the street until I got old. Got to speak to him. Literally, he literally chased him down the street. Yeah, I did. Because. Uh, I thought he might have it in the van, and uh, anyway, he's bringing, he's certainly bringing four boxes out of possible six tomorrow. He might be bringing all of it, but he's certainly bringing four because he described them to me. They are in their depot, and uh, they're, they're coming. They're coming tomorrow. Four out of six, four definite, could be all six. No, you just uh... But definitely four. Definitely four. Quite excited about the prospect of uh, that happening. Right, so what I'm doing, so these guys, Black Templars, and they're only going to be uh, fairly simple, so we watched a uh, tutorial video last night on uh, the best way to paint black armour for these guys, because it, cause it's been a long time, and uh, it, was, it was really good, it was really good, really in-depth, but far too detailed for what I want. So I'm going to use some of the ideas from that, and... Uh, Hi John, how you doing? And uh, go with that. So these guys typically have white infill on the shoulder pads, but because I've undercoated them black, I need to just get ready for that white. So what I'm doing is I'm using some Reaper weathered stone, just as a base coat, rough base coat, as you can tell, um, on their shoulder pads, so that when I paint nice pristine nuclear white over the top of it then uh, it'll look not grey hopefully Hydrate. oh I don't think I did the last hydrate because I was too uh, too intent on wig me everyone's hydrating you because they know how warm I, it is in that I, way I, I, uh, wig and wigs oh two hydrates yeah I took it I took it off I thought you'd done it Wigan Wonsy combination. Keeping it hydrated. Yep. Here we go. 
Super hydration. So I've got some. Uh, There we go. Yeah, I've got some uh, got some black templars on the on the table tonight. So I've got a squad of five assault intercessors here that are going to form part of our black templars store army. Oh, I don't know. Would you like to? Would everybody like to know our uh, our news, uh, like a sneak preview before we tell everybody else? We'll see. We'll see if anybody wants to know our news first, and uh, they might not want to. Let's let's <laughs> see if let's see if they want to. We'll uh, we'll let them say in chat whether they're bothered or not. <laughs> it's quite alright to go. No, that's fine. Don't want to know your news. Don't worry about it. Yeah. <laughs> You can tell me what news you have. Okay, so, uh, so weathered. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Tony, Tony says, is Nathan pregnant? With that wig on, I won't put it past him. Yeah. I hope not, though. That, that won't be very good news. <laughs> That'd be mm. a bit worrying after all these years. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, dear. Go on, then. You, you, can, you can say. Um, so. Fantastic news for anybody uh, coming to the shop in Bridlington is, uh, in fact, I've got two amazing pieces of news. One is that I've done a new window display this afternoon that you will be able to come and visit and see our awesome Halloween homewares window display. That wasn't the news I was thinking of, but he is very proud of his, uh, of his window display because it's the first time he's ever done one all on his own and it looks really, really nice. Unfortunately, our window in the shop, with it just being a massive glass window, which I, I understand most windows normally are, but there's a lot of like things going on in the street. So if you try and stand in front of our window and take a picture, you get nothing really of what's in the window and multiple reflections of everything else that's going on behind you. So it's really hard to take a photo. So he's done an awesome job. Of his window display and i'm very very proud of him but that wasn't the news i was thinking of <laughs> uh, it's a bit like are you, are you thinking about shop news or our family news i was thinking about family news but you might have to tell me the shop news now because like i don't know what you're talking about it's but it, it, it's back to the window display it's a little bit like when a man does a job that like the lady normally does in the house and they want oh, hang on! Careful, we're in danger of becoming a sexist, like organisation here. All right, I'll rephrase it then. It's like when Nathan does a job I normally do in the house, <laughs> and then wants lots and lots and lots of praise uh, for just doing the one job that I'd normally do anyway. Look, I've, look! I put that cup in the dishwasher rather than just leaving it on top of the dishwasher and letting it magically go through the worktop. Give me, give me more praise like that. <laughs> Yeah, when you know, it's, <laughs> but, it's the magic coffee table scenario. But your but your window display is it does look really really good, and I am very very proud of you. We've kind of got slightly off track now. Um, can you share a pic for us that's far away? No, it just don't work. I mean, I, I have got a picture, and I will put it in Discord. But you, there's just so much that goes on in the street. There's loads of street lights and loads of little shops, and the and the. The bricks that they've laid down King Street <clears throat> when they turned it into pedestrianised street years ago are really, really slippy. They're awful and they reflect the rain and anything really badly. And you get just like half of the pavement reflecting on the window and then yourself and then all the background. But I have got a picture of here. Hey Wicked D, um, need help with a campaign idea please, says Demon Aqua. <laughs> Well, he does. He does cook. What I meant. What I meant. I see. I've got myself into trouble. What I meant by that was jobs I normally do, and he does. He does actually do more of the domestic jobs in the house than I do. He goes shopping and does all the cooking, don't you, my darling? Mm. It started because when we first got together, we both had full-time jobs, so we split the jobs evenly. So I did all the cleaning, and he did the cooking, and that made sense because we both got in from work and we both had our jobs to do 
And then I got super lazy and retired and still made him do the cooking anyway. Because I'm awful. Like and, that, and now I do everything. <sighs> no, no, Nathan doesn't do the food. Uh, sometimes I do. Mm. If, yeah. if, if we're having company. No, you, you, don't, you do the hoovering, but you don't do the hoovering. You do that thing where you've just gone round stuff. Nothing gets made. Wicked Dee says, is that you there, Mr. MLG, or is it your mermaid cousin? <laughs> yes, mermaid cousin, the onesie in the wig. Bim Apple says, I have a necromancer in my town that is working with thieves' guilds to gain magic items and knowledge for his own benefit. What is he looking for? Meaning life. But Nathan's going to tell you our news now. <laughs> mm. We need a shell me reward to do a mermaid makeover. <laughs> Little Miss has got a mermaid costume, but it wouldn't fit him, so I can't do that. And Wicked D says you've got to hide her. Oh, Wicked D might now. Wicked D, we were saying that we had an announcement that we were going to tell everybody. And then we got sidetracked by the fact that Mr. MLG has done a cool window display all on his own today. Uh, have you seen it? I know you don't really walk that way, but you'll have to have a look and tell us what you uh, what you think of his handiwork. He's only done it today. Of his handiwork in the in the Costa window. I think he's done very well from the picture that I've seen. <laughs> So what, what news have we got to tell everyone? We're getting a puppy! We're getting a puppy! <laughs> Tony said you've got to put that on. Uh, he, he said we're, we're getting a puppy, is what, is what he said there in a weird cafe you, vibe. You told me I would, like, had to be more excited about <laughs> stuff, so I was being more excited. Oh, you're putting the handmade, handmade hat on. Yeah. Yes, we're getting a red fox Labrador puppy. Uh, it's been it's been years since we had a puppy. <laughs> I'm a little bit scared, but uh, we're getting it at Halloween. Ah. So there'll be unfortunately there'll be lots of spammed pictures of puppy from now on. Um, uh, yeah. My hat won't stay. So we're we're, ex yeah, we're we is... are excited, but I'm also a little bit nervous. This is my uh, handmade hat. Little Miss made this for me. It's not going to stay on, I'm going to have to switch. I don't know, I just don't want to stay on my head, it's too slippy. Here we go. Yeah, I think so. Wicked D says, correction there, getting a puppy for a day and then I am stealing it. <laughs> You'll have to fight Little Miss for it, she's extremely excited. So now I'm going to uh, follow the tutorial thing slightly. And we're going to go for a bit of Games Workshop or Sip Aid or Colour Dark Reaper. And uh, what I'm going to do with this is just paint this around the edges of the armour as a first, uh, first highlight. Yeah, he's a boy to me, and uh, he's a fox red Labrador. We've never had a Labrador before. No. Um, and a Labrador is a lot, um, a lot bigger than. than <laughs> The, the dogs that we were that we were looking at in the rescue centre, um, but friends that we know have had a litter, uh, and it was a bit like a bit no, not really fate, but um, yes, it, uh, yeah, that's what's happening anyway. So ah, scary. And yes, and, and Labradors are supposed to be friendly and loyal and everything, so should be yeah, it should be cool with Little Miss. Um, she is awesome with animals. She doesn't go pulling tails or none of that like we've brought her up to, to treat animals nicely so she is a good a good kid around animals so uh, it will be uh, yeah new member of the family new member of the family scary mm, up it's at night be, now it's oh. gonna be awesome <laughs> i'll be even more grumpy when i've not had any sleep <laughs> we better really go back to being that because question yeah we kind of we kind of didn't answer them, did we um, There's a necromancer, what's he looking for? I would say he wants to be uh, looking for a magical item like uh, that has some raise the dead ability or something like that. Like uh, like the magic whistle that you guys have got in 
Farfalla. No, no, anyway, so in uh, in our Pathfinder game, Demon Aqua, uh, the party found a crystal whistle that raises a skeleton. What did, what, but what did we do? We found a crystal whistle and then blew it loads. <laughs> Didn't bother trying yeah. to find out what it did. We just yeah. kept blowing the whistle and having a rave. <laughs> yeah. So you've got to blow it like under a full moon to get the power to work. And, uh, and they just kept blowing it. Like all the time. Let's blow the whistle. You know, do you even know what it does? Like I could have had all sorts of fun with uh, yeah. like zombies or whatever being raised, and you just opening a door to find a skeleton on the other side. What do we do now? It's just stood there. <laughs> so, so if, if you had a magic whistle, how, how does that work then for being an apple? What would uh... Was it only one thing that would last so long, or what was it? Yeah, it, I think it... Um, it's like I, something that Venom wants to go on. Yeah, I think it, it, it creates a skeleton that like f serves you for 30 days or something like that. I uh, I would have to re refresh my memory. But yeah, some, something along those kind Does of lines. Does that help or... Venom and is, um, is that something you could run yeah. with, that kind of idea? If, he, uh, if you're necromancer maybe is looking for a specific item but doesn't want to tell his thief counterpart um, or accomplice what he's actually looking for because otherwise they might figure his, out his plan then uh, you might just have him bringing him every magic item he finds until he gets the one that he wants also I can assure you that mister has got a hat on you just can't see it yeah. Yeah, there there it is. that's there look. <laughs> In my, uh, I'm not sure I like this. Anyway, little. <laughs> what? What's I'm just trying to decide whether I like the uh, like the way my painting is going on this guy. Tony says. Definitely take them for training and socialising clubs. Kathy used to be a puppy parent for aid dogs for disabled training and socialising with big expectations in terms of classes. Yeah, we, we want to make sure that he's uh, well adjusted to other dogs and stuff, don't we? We mm. don't, want, uh, don't want that kind of issue. The most difficult part of that is making me go to these clubs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like socialising. <laughs> I'll have to be taken to some socialising clubs to, to be able to go to the dog socialising club. I don't know what there is around here. We used to take ours to a, to a lady um, a long time ago. I don't know if she still does it. Yeah, she, but um, we probably won't go back there again. <laughs> she used to shout at us a lot. <laughs> Put, yeah, I've put a picture of your window display in um, in Discord, my darling. All oh, right, cool. You might be able to actually show it on the thing. And you can get double frames. Yeah. Because I deserve it, obviously. Yeah. Wicked Dee says, I'll take you to some socialising clubs and we'll have an awesome time. I don't. I, I didn't really mean like the, the alcoholic type. I meant with the dog. <laughs> Oh, that'd be great, Tony. Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah, cool. Because we, you know, it has been a long time since we had a puppy. Very long time. Yeah. <laughs> we, we we had both of ours from pups, but um, yeah, not. I don't think they were this little though, were they? With, no. with ours both being rescue, they were still puppies, but not eight weeks. It's very exciting. I like all your South Point finish moves. Nice to see. He did well, didn't he? He did well. Then uh, chopping, chopping boards and uh, cushions, I believe. Yeah. Mhm. Mm I'm gonna, I'm gonna put a picture on here in a minute. Okay. Oh, I'll put it on your screen. 
<laughs> I'll put it on your screen. Right, here we are everybody. And we all got our clapping hands emojis ready to praise Mr. MLG for his awesome window display. And uh, the concentration on his face reflected in the glass just shows how much he put into this. Actually, you can't see the bottom of it. broken it now. <laughs> Here we go. Where is it? Yay! There we go, there we go. Well well done. Well done, sweetie. Oh you've put the new stuff, I've not even added them to the website yet. No, I thought they looked cool so they had to go. I on. know I've not added them on yet. You've got you've got ahead of me. Barbara Woodhouse. <laughs> I remember. Oh, Wicked D says it's awesome. Tony's done uh, and some rock hands emojis. Sharon likes it. Oh, you just you just you know rolling in all the uh, all the love now. Yeah. Was that the storage room? Says Pete. No, it's the window, Pete. <laughs> you know you've been loads of times. Oh, Tony sent you some cool cat emojis and Moxie says, "Wow, nice one. Looks awesome." I mean, they can't praise you for your miniature because no one can see it. <coughs> You're getting it so close to your face, we can see it on the face cam more than we can see yeah, it on the eyes. <laughs> the painting cam. Yeah, he's done. He's done. He's done us proud. He's done us proud with his uh, with his window display. Bless his little cotton socks. Yeah, I'm. I'm not sure I like this mini. Oh, it's the mini spot. Sharon's put some awesome miniatures in the Discord today. Absolutely fantastic. Oh. As always, though, to be fair, but um, a diorama mini three, she's ace, the, sing the singing opera lady. She's really cool. Let's have a look. So, go on, you tell us what you do. So, I'm putting some Dark Reaper onto this guy. Now, Every uh, every method I've seen for painting these guys uses Dark Reaper over the top of the black undercoat. And uh, this is the first time I've done it this way, to be fair. But I, uh, apart from the fact that I'm, I'm putting it, probably putting it on way too thick, although uh, the the thing I was watching last night said to, to make these lines, these Dark Reaper highlights quite large and then you know, like your other edge highlight on top of that with the Fenrisian grey to be a little sharper. Um, I don't know, maybe I'm uh, just thinking that I'm doing the wrong thing, I don't know. We'll have to, we'll have to get some Fenrisian grey on it in a second and see what it looks like. With that other highlight. I think before I start on any of the other guys, I'm going to work a little bit more on this chap and see what he turns out like. Tony says, oh, I so want to bring Millie over to meet you at the shop. The car journey would be like Turner and Hooch related. Mm. <laughs> cool. Well, we're hoping, we're hoping that our new puppy uh, will be at the shop as well sometimes with Mr MLG yeah and not just always at home with me yeah shop pup upstairs obviously Wiki D says as I was walking through town at dinner time there was a gentleman walking behind me who was quite excitedly exclaiming to his partner "Ooh, we have to go look in the little model shop there I was tempted to turn around and laughingly tell them it's not little <laughs> but that would have meant talking to people <laughs> They might not have been talking about ours. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, if he, if he pointed at our shop and said, "Little, I'm, how big does it have to be? <laughs> you know, but then we do, we do still get people who don't even know we exist. Yeah. And it is like three stories in the middle of town. But yeah, cool. I bet you're just giggling to yourself walking down the street, weren't you? Wicked thing. Right then. Let's have a go with some Fenrisian grey. Water that down a bit, as, uh, as instructions said. <laughs> but do they sell little models? 
so that was my yeah yeah funnily enough <laughs> that might have been what he meant right then see if i can uh, make this look a bit better Uh, I just think it looks a bit messy. You've not <laughs> All right. Well, I'll uh, I'll finish going around with this, and then I'll show it off to the camera and see what everybody thinks. Might have to go back and do a couple of touch-ups already. <laughs> So uh, yeah, I can, I can, I can, because I haven't seen it yet, so I can't tell you anything about the book. But um, I can tell you that it is a great value box set, and uh, even more so when you shop at a wonderful game store like Mighty Lancer Games, where you'll get it at a twenty percent discount from the RRP, and uh, so in the box you get a. The Codex and a Dreadnought and the Emperor's Champion, fantastic new model for the Emperor's Champion, which uh, I'm very excited about. Love the uh, appearance of that guy. Uh, and a whole host of fantastic new models along with the rules. And these will probably, apparently, be released generally as separate items in about a month's time so you get an early access by getting the box set and is it a faction that you like? it is yeah black templars is one of my uh, favorite space marine armies that i've ever had i think i mentioned the other night and I, that i'd had some and then i uh, I decided to sell them because I wasn't really using them and I was starting my uh, Night Lord themed faction but definitely wanted to uh, do some Black Templars when as soon as I found out that they were getting a, a relaunch knew, I knew that I was going to have to have a go. I have actually got some water tonight. Have actually got some. That uh, preparation for our shows soon. We've got uh, got a couple of war game shows coming up in the calendar. We've got Fiasco, which is a war game show at Leeds Armouries. That's on the 31st, and is the reason why our Halloween fun day is going to be um, the day before Halloween, because I'm not going to be around, unfortunately. That will be at the show. So we've got Fiasco, that's really cool. And uh, while you, if you came along to Leeds to visit us at the show, you would also be able to go to Leeds Armouries and check out the fantastic collection that they've got there. And then 
following after Leeds, we are going to salute at the London XL on the 13th of November, which is a really popular show. And we will be there with our stall full of Reaper minis and uh, WizKids figures and a whole host of other bits and pieces. It will. It's a bit. It's a bit strange going back to shows, and we've never been to Salute before. Um, but yeah, it's a bit strange. Mask. But we had a. You had a practice, didn't you, when at Brief Comic Con wearing your mask all day. Yeah. <laughs> so. So at least you've had a little practice. And then you'll have to be texting me, telling me that you're all right. Oh yeah. I'm still all right. <laughs> Yeah, we're okay. Yeah, we're going down on the Friday and uh, setting up, staying over in a uh, in a hotel nearby. It's going to be strange leaving. Uh, oh, blobbed, blobbed. Everybody knew it was happening. Well, I've, I've done like all this painting and not blobbed all over until now. You need to call it blob painting stream. Yeah, yeah blob painting stream. Rename. That's what we need to rename the stream. And blob paints. Yeah. Maybe you should like finger paint and then you can say, oh, well, we're doing it on purpose. <laughs> who, who needs brushes? I'm talking about brushes. I've started putting the rosemary and co paint brushes on. I haven't got very far. It's a right pain in the bottom. Um, there aren't any pictures or barcodes or anything. Yay! So I've got to take my own pictures, which are horrendous. Because I don't know if you've ever tried to take a picture of a paintbrush, but it's very hard, and I only have my phone. So I do apologise for the rubbish pictures, but I have tried my very best. <laughs> and you've got uh, a whole selection to add, haven't you? I'm I'm using a rosemary and co brush now. This is a uh, this is a series 101. That's what I've just this brush, today, not, which is the chunkier handle style. So I started. I've put the red dot ones on, and I've just started putting those ones on the series 101 red sable. Yeah. Um, brushes, which apparently are very good for people with arthritis or who find it difficult to hold a paintbrush for a long time because of the chunky handle. It's a, it's a nice grip apparently, so that's always good. And then I've got the other ones to add, I can't remember what you've got. Yeah, uh, we've got these ones, we've got these, these are the Series 98 with the triangular handle, very similar to the Army Painter ones. And then we've got uh, series 22 and 33 and then we've got some cases. yeah and some fancy dancy cases and um, display boxes which would make great gifts you are entirely correct by the way <laughs> tony says this tillinghurst mana kit is ridiculously huge Add the mana grounds and you have a self-contained game setting. It's brilliant. It did look absolutely awesome. It did look awesome. I, uh, I was very tempted to uh, get one, but I figured that uh, you had I had enough. So I got the Rio Sonore set instead. I figured I had enough, so I got some Yeah. Well, yeah. For the for the games that we tend to play in the store, I didn't think that the manor would, would fit. So I went with something that I thought was a little more generic for uh, sci-fi and what have you. I see. Are 
you showing us yet? Uh, almost. I'd forgotten how hard it was painting Space Marine armor. Should be easy, shouldn't it? Just to paint like flat edges. I can't remember it being this hard. Oh, I suppose you don't normally paint it on stream, do you? So, you know, The last time I painted Black Tempers, actually, when when I uh, painted them, however many years ago it was, I uh, I cheated actually. I dry brushed them. I mean, dry brushed them for the most part, and then just did like little edge. Oh, so thing is cheating. Well, yeah, that's true. Yeah. So yeah, that. I'm adding that in because that's all I've done tonight is dry brush. <laughs> mm. So yeah, that's uh, that's how I did them previously. And to be fair, as soon as this is going to be a store around me, I might I might revert to doing that this time round. So uh, let me just do a little couple of lines on this guy's backpack, and then I'll show him off. I think I might have been a bit thick. Well, not thick, but might have gone a bit over the top of my lines not as neat as I would like them to be Does look awesome. It does look awesome. I uh, it was the the like kind of zombie setting thing that I was really fancying it for. To be fair, Right. There we go. I mean, yeah. Yeah, there we go. You say yeah, and you're still, you're still not all naked. You're still. Still. Okay. I think it's too bright. I think the highlights uh, are too thick and uh, and too bright. I'm not sure I like it. Doesn't really look black, does he? It looks, uh, uh -uh. It looks a bit too grey. Yeah. Don't know. Might I might press on and see how we get on. What do you reckon? Depends what it looks like over there. I might, I might just put him down for a second over there and have a look and see what I think. Because what, whatever they're like on the table, and that's that's what matters, isn't it? I'm not looking at them thinking, mm, that's a display piece. I'm looking at them thinking, I'm going to pick that up and move it over there and attack that guy. Yeah. How, uh, 
how hard it is to just like remember to keep it in the right place. Oh no. Thank you, Moxie. That's very kind. It's uh, it should be quite easy if you've got a steady hand. It uh, it should be quite easy to pull off this. I haven't got quite a steady hand, so it's looking a little a little scrappy. I might do, I might try on the next guy. I might try dry brushing him and see what it, with the same color scheme and see what it looks like. And if I'm happy with that, I might just expand that to the rest of the models. So this is um, Fenrisian gray. And the colour that I used first was Dark Reaper. And I've just painted these straight over. In fact, like I didn't actually paint any other black on. I'm just putting it straight over the Reaper brush on black. Black? Brack? Brack? What's Brack? Reaper uh, brush on black primer. Let's do a little bit more on him. See how we think he looks after he's had a little bit more treatment. All right, so we'll I'm just gonna put a little highlight in there because I've missed that bit. And then there and in there. And then I think we're going to paint his eye lenses. Uh, they're going to be red. And I'm going to do the eagle on his chest, or the, uh, the winged skull on his chest. That's going to be um, like a gunmetal colour, which we'll do with the blades on the chainsaw and what have you. And then we will uh, turn our attention to the knee pad and the shoulder pads. And we'll see what it looks like after we've done that. So, what we're going to do is some uh, holly berry for his eye lenses. Oh, can I borrow your poke? Okay? Thank you, I will try not to. Uh, actually, thinking about it, Moxie, I, I think that this paint scheme would look really, uh, really cool on some knights if you did their armour in this kind of black. I think it would look really funky. Um, and uh, yes, it is my intention to freehand the shoulder pads. That's what I did on my uh, my guys, like however long ago it was, 20 years ago. I, uh, I freehanded their shoulder pad designs. I don't think I did too bad a job of it either. So, uh, yeah, I was definitely going to give that a go. I'll come back and give that a second coat in a minute. Make sure they're nice and bright. 
Asmo, almost like if you did them in that white grey and then did the lining with fluorescent red or blue, they could be from Tron. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah. Well, the, one of the things that I saw, looked at a different ways, a couple of different ways of painting them yesterday to see how uh, times had changed in the last 20 years. And one of the uh, Citadel heavy metal painters did it, painted a guy. And when she did it, she did, um, in fact, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it on here. So what she did was, did like a, a vertical stripe down his leg, like that. As if the, and then on some of the other armor panels. So like a, um, like the lights catching it. So when that's dry, we'll put a highlight of the Henrisian gray on over the top. So just, uh, I'll leave it to dry while I do something else, but, and then I'll come back to it. But so she did that and then she put like a little highlight in there to make it look as if it was reflection. And then what she did was she washed all the mini with, um, what colour it was now? Pterodon turquoise um, contrast paint to give it a, a kind of sheen, and it, it did look quite cool, didn't it? But it didn't, as I said to Mrs. MLG, it's almost like with all the detail that she put into painting the mini with all the highlights and everything else, that if you'd have just painted it black and then varnished it with like gloss varnish, you probably could have got a very similar effect, and it would have actually like looked right from every angle because the light would hit the gloss and reflect but I realized that that's kind of spoiling the effect of it um, yeah right let's get some uh, let's get some white and do shoulder pads before we can hand paint some crosses on so I really like as I mentioned before green stuff world nuclear white it's really nice Pure white. Have a little blob of that over here. Just a little bit. And I'm going to use this brush just to add a little bit of water to it. White's such a hard colour to get a good. Good pure white, and sometimes you can use them and they're, they're really thick and chalky. So, uh, I found this nuclear white is absolutely excellent. Reaper's pure white is uh, probably a favourite, second favourite, let's call it. You like Reaper Pure White, don't you? So over the top of that um, weathered stone that I put on there earlier on, that white's looking okay. It doesn't matter that it's not completely solid at this stage because it's very difficult to highlight a white, obviously. But this guy's in battle. Shouldn't look like his armor's pristine. So I think that that looks not too bad. We might give it a second coat in a minute. We'll work our way around. We'll do the other shoulder pad and that knee pad. And then might come back and give it another coat in a second. There's a couple of other little details on the model that I haven't even touched yet, so. On this wrist guard here, there's a uh, skull cross symbol. And, uh, I think I'm going to do that with the metal, the same gun metal colour that I do with the uh, eagle on his chest. So what I'll do is I'll I'll do this guy and then when I do the next guy, the next marine in the squad, I will do the dry brush technique and then I'll put it in the discord and we'll show them side by side and see which one everybody thinks is best.
Yeah, that's what I thought, Tony. It's uh, it's definitely my uh, my favourite. Super. Right, I think we will just go back and we'll just have another little dabble on that sh first shoulder pad. Maybe just go over it once more. Before we start on... Uh, Before we start on painting some uh, some crosses, no, I, mean, I used to have, I remember, a technique for doing the crosses on the shoulder pads that involved painting an X to start off with. So I think we might have to might have to have a go at that before we finish the stream. Wicked D doing? <laughs> What's, what is that Wicked D? I can't make out what it is. Uh... Now another another tip, shall we say? Not particularly cheating, because uh, as, as Goblin Squire tells us, it's not really cheating if it makes your painting life easier. But some so another trick that you can use, especially when you're painting um, like details in uh, in black, shall we say, on white or anything any light colour. Is you can use a fine line pen but for that you need to make sure that sorry sorry so you need to make sure that it's uh, really dry before you start on it with a pen use a sharpie or a, uh, a fine liner to do your script or if you want to do any really fine script on the shoulder pads which I was I was planning on doing on here I'm not very handy with a brush but I can manage it with a with a pen we might have a go at that so we'll leave it a minute and then we'll have a go at that uh, Asmo says that he likes Dragon White from the Reaper Bones line I have tried Dragon White we uh, we had some had some Dragon White in a one of our paint kits that we used at the shop I, I do like it, but I, uh, I must confess, I like nuclear white better. Right, we'll just give those eyes another, another coat. It be really nice and bright. And then you can put a little dab of white in them as well just to make uh, just to make them look as if they've got a gleam in we'll have to wait for the dryer for that tony says no it's just white not like that blackest black that i was recommending the other day that stuff is really expensive but insanely pitch black oh uh, yeah it seems to just look completely flat doesn't it that stuff even when uh, even when it's got light directly on it it's like it absorbs the light Oh, cool. Right then, what was I going to do next? I've just realised that I've missed a whole section that I haven't done anything with on this inner arm here.
and, and that hand. Why am I doing that? I don't know. Uh, red wash. Would you like my red wash? There you go. Old Citadel wash bal red. Can't get that anymore. It's Caraberg crimson these days. Right, I guess guess I need some black. I'm going to have a go at uh, painting the icons on his shoulder pads. So I'm just, I'll just need to get my reference image up. Bear with me a second while I find my reference image. No, <laughs> sorry. Need to get my uh, need to get my image up so I can copy it. Can we? Oh, look at that. So reference image has got molded shoulder pads on. That's not good, is it? Easier to paint crosses when all you've got to do is paint the molded parts on the uh, on the model. So I'm going to use some pure black, some Reaper pure black, because. We do like it. We do like the uh, the Reaper stuff. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch paintbrushes. I'm going to lick that one before I put the lid back on because I don't like messing, uh, squidging them in. And I'm going to switch back over to my Green Stuff World 00 Silver Series because it's really dinky. And this is what I usually usually used for painting eyeballs and stuff and then we're going to have a go at painting a cross on this chap's shoulder pad so this could go horribly wrong oh screen's frozen Yeah, no, nobody cough, nobody redeem paint left handed. My screen's got a network error on it. Is everybody else's got a problem? That's uh, that's not good. Just when we're doing the most precision part of the. Uh... This is a lot harder than I remember it being. Oh, I, I did say that this could go horribly wrong, didn't I? This looks absolutely shocking. 
Was it as good as that koi carp that you painted that time? Oh, this is worse than that. This is worse than that. I'm, I'm embarrassed for myself. I guess uh, I guess decals are available. I could uh, I could resort to using those. <laughs> ah, how have I done a better job than this? Went like in the past. Did I have? I had steadier hands, obviously. Ah, looks like. The umbrella symbol from Resident Evil. I think I'm just making it worse now. Oh well, that's just shocking, isn't it? Look at the state of that. I might be able to rescue it, but that's abysmal. <laughs> Terrible, absolutely shocking. So what I've always done in the past is give the uh, the one shoulder pad the uh, the cross. I know, absolutely shocking. Uh, and then the other one I've given the squad number two. So let's go for. Let's say that this guy is from uh, squad four. I should be able to, I should be able to paint a. Nice, like gothic looking for that, that shouldn't be too hard. Got the smallest paintbrush in the world. Gloss varnishes, oh, because I could rub it off, if, or uh, if it wasn't going quite right. Yeah, I think we might have to repaint these and, uh, and go over them again. That's in danger of looking like something that shouldn't. I think we'll, uh, we'll give it a miss and uh, repaint these. Because that looks... That looks, a, that looks a bit... Anyway, there we go. So, <laughs> in, an, in an hour... I suppose it doesn't look that bad, does it? It could put, pass for tabletop if I... Uh, Try and sort it out a little bit. Maybe should we have a go at doing something on his knee? What should we what should we give him on his knee? I definitely can't do a cross that small on his knee cap. We should give him some kind of campaign badge though. I don't know. I'm gonna have to give that a bit more thought. I reckon I could rescue this. Thinking about it. So uh, yeah, hang on. Let's stop agonising about it. I'll, I'll give it another whirl. So there we go. There's our, uh, our Space Marine in the evening so far. I don't think he looks that bad. Is He's not great, but he'll do for uh, he'll do for some tabletop standard for uh, demo army. If you like, I'll, what I'll do is I'll try and uh, I'll dry brush one, and then I'll post them in Discord, so have them side by side, and see see how that looks. So there we go. Are you uh, are you marbling tomorrow night, my darling? So Mrs. MLG will uh, will be playing some marbles on stream tomorrow evening, and then we will be back on Sunday with Skyrim Sunday. So and then back to normal on Monday. So on Monday we'll be carrying on with the Griffin that we started, and on Tuesday I will probably be finishing this guy. Possibly even Tuesday and Wednesday next week. We'll see how we go. So thank you for all your very kind comments. Everybody, Wicked D and Tony and uh, Moxie, thank you. Uh, 
I guess we'll see you all next week. Thanks for joining us this evening. Enjoy the rest of your night. Take care. See you soon. Bye.